So we are at the University of Northampton Waterside Campus and what we're going to do is we are going to rescue a casualty out of the water as if they have fell in to demonstrate the capabilities of Northamptonshire Fire and Rescue Services water rescue technicians. Lakes and rivers and stretches of open water can look really tempting to go into, particularly when we have elevated temperatures in the summer. But what people going into this water don't, don't know is the hidden dangers. You don't know what's in the water. We don't know the depth of the water. And the temperature can be around 10 to 15 degrees and that can cause cold water shock. It'll make your breathing erratic and that can lead to drowning. Cold water has an impact on the body, so for all you may feel you are a strong swimmer, cold water will make that really difficult for you to swim in. When we've got sight of a casualty in the water, the fire service, with its trained rescue technicians, will dress in the appropriate personal protective equipment, which enables them to enter into a water. We can rescue people using a number of uh, techniques. We can use reach poles, we can use um, the flotation devices that are offered at the side of the, the river. We can commit into the water to get them out by sending firefighters into the water. And we can also use our boats. If people want to out enjoy outdoor swimming, go to the designated areas where there are control measures in place. They'll have a lifeguard. They'll have a clocking in and out of the water system. The regulations around wearing a wetsuit. If you see somebody in danger, call 999. The best advice to be able to give is to get the person to lie on their back, stretch their arms and their legs as if they're a star and try and calm them down so that they can recontrol their breathing. Do not commit to the water yourself because you can become a victim too.